I'm back! I finally got my arm in a cast so now I can move around without being in so much pain. So I thought I'd sit down and film this quick and easy voodoo doll Halloween tutorial for those who just want something quick and easy or are in a time crunch on Halloween. Most of these products are things that already could be found in your makeup collection. I thought it would be easier that way. That way no one has to go out and buy anything specific. So starting off, you're just going to prime your face. I use two different primers specifically because of all the pain medication has been drying out my skin. So any primer will do. And to prime the lids, I'm just using a concealer and translucent powder to set that concealer. And if you hear any background noise, I apologize. That is my new puppy playing with the cats and playing with everything in sight. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up for that. But the first color I am picking up is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and a fat blending brush and applying that all over the crease is just going to work as a transition shade to let the other eyeshadows blend a little bit better. Um, I felt that Peach Smoothie wasn't showing up on camera that well so I actually dip into another color which is called Frappe from Makeup Geek. Everything that I use I will list it down below in the description box especially because I don't have it with me on hand. But I just picked up another blending brush and picked up that Frappe color and I intensified the crease a little bit more. Using that same brush, I'm picking up an orange shade and applying that a little bit lower than the transition shade. I really want my crease to be defined. I don't know, I feel like it looks more doll-like. But I'm just applying that, like I said, underneath where I put the transition shade and I am just building that color up. I am dragging it all the way to the inner corners of my eye because I wanted to build structure towards the front. Um, it, that blending brush wasn't helping me achieve that, so I decided to grab a more denser brush and outline the crease. Like I said, bringing it to the inner corner just to create some structure. Taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to infuse these colors together so it is a nice blended look. After this, I'm going to be getting a warm tone brown. I think this one is Mocha from Makeup Geek just to darken the crease a little bit more. Picking up an angled brush and a black eyeshadow, I'm going to define the crease a little bit more and I'm just going to be sculpting it out so I know where to create that smokiness and make my eyes look a little bit more open and doll-like. Picking up another clean blending brush, I'm just going to try to blend the black out. Black is a very tricky color to work with, so just be very patient and blend your little heart out. Once I achieve the outer smokiness that I desire, I'm going to be picking up a flat brush and a white cream concealer, and I'm going to place this all over the lid carving out the black so it looks kind of like a cut crease but not really just so it looks like a cleaner look Grabbing another flat brush and some white eyeshadow, I'm going to set that creamy concealer. That way it does not budge and then blend a little bit more on the black so it looks nice and blended and not completely super sharp. 
I felt like my brow bone was a little bit messy so I decided to clean it up and make some straight edges with that white concealer and that flat brush just to create more definition and now heading on to the face I'm going to be using a foundation that is two shades darker than me for picture purposes you don't get that white cast and I wanted the doll to look a little bit dirtier well, not dirtier but you know a little bit more tan so heading on to the eyebrows I wanted doll like eyebrows the picture that I originally had for inspiration had these Tim Burton looking eyebrows I completely loved it but mine were a little bit too thick so I decided to still keep the shape of those eyebrows. I just made them a little bit thicker, but you can put your eyebrows however you please. I'm using the NYX pomade in brown and I'm going in with a spoolie just to um, clean it up because they get very, very chunky, this pomade does. And then I'm just gonna go back and set it with a brown eyeshadow just to make the pomade set. Now I'm just going to be grabbing some concealer and putting them on the high points of my face just to create highlight. Um, I also go in with a very, very light concealer to put over this because I felt like this one wasn't light enough. And I am putting them in the exact same spots and blending it out with a flat face brush. After this I noticed that it was not blending as well so I go back in with my foundation brush just to blend it out just a little bit more. Time to contour and I'm just going to be using a cream contour. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me do this quite a bit on my videos so there's not much explaining to do. I'm just going to make those look a little bit more hollow and trying to get that nice little doll shaped face. Naturally, the next step is to set your face, so any translucent powder will do. I am using the RCMA Translucent No Color Powder, and I'm just packing that all over the face. I wanted the face to be completely matte. And next, I'm just grabbing a bronzer and contouring my face and bronzing up the skin as well. I am just putting that and trading brushes to see which one would give me more coverage, and this last brush is the winner. And I'm just bronzing the face wherever I placed that contour as well. Well. I just grabbed the darkest shade in my contour palette. I think it's the Little Rock Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm just contouring my nose trying to make it doll like as much as I can and I completely failed but just contour your nose however you feel you want to contour it and I'm pretty sure it will look damn good compared to this. <laughs> I attempted to use the highlighting powder in that contour highlight palette but it just was not working for me so I decided to grab a white matte eyeshadow and go ahead and highlighted the high points of my face which was my chin, my cheekbones, my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. Like I said I want to completely leave this look matte and I think it worked out for the best. And don't forget to brush off excess powder. My dumb butt didn't do that till after, so my nose looks very, very chalky. Let me just finish up the eyes. I'm just using this NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk, and I am putting it in the lower lash line, lower than my waterline. I wanted to bring it out and then grab a white liner and tight line the tops and the bottoms of my waterline so it doesn't look like an empty space. Then I'm just going to be grabbing some white eyeshadow and setting that pencil as well. And I am also grabbing the transition shades and creating a little shadow underneath where I put the jumbo pencil so it looks complete like it's the bottom of my eye as well as grabbing a pencil brush and getting the darker colors to create a smoky effect underneath. Now just pop on some lashes. I got these from Red Cherry. I got them from a Goodwill. Um, someone donated like a whole pack of lashes that I used. But I wanted to create lower lashes and I thought I can do it with some gel liner but the pencil brush was way too thick so I decided to go with a liquid pen. And this one is the Lorac, Run, Lorac one and it is my favorite. 
But now for the fun part, I'm gonna be taking any red liner and just creating the lines on the side of my face. First, I went with a light stroke to make sure they were even and then I darkened it up a little bit. I felt that the lines were too red so I went in with the Modern Renaissance palette and got the very brick red shade and I am just going over it as well as getting Raw Sienna from that palette and just dabbing it on with this blending brush just to create a more realistic bloody type look and I'm just going to be doing this over and over until I achieve the color that I really really feel looks realistic to me. I'm grabbing this nude liner and the Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick and I am lining my lips with this. I know it's an eyeliner but I did not have a nude, um, what's it called? <laughs> Lip liner. So I'm just filling in my lips first. That way on the sides I can just pick up a red lipstick and blend it together. This one's Fire Engine from Gerard Cosmetics. And I'm just doing that on the outer corners and I'm going to blend it in with my fingers so it looks like it's cut up. And then I'm going to take those eyeshadows that I previously used and make it look similar to the cuts on my face. Woohoo, that was pretty much a mouthful. <laughs> Into this white cream concealer again, I'm using that flat brush and putting it on the center of my lips. I wanted it to look more washed out. I felt like the lipstick wasn't doing it enough for me so I went ahead and did that, blended it in and put some white um, eyeshadow over it. Now I'm taking this eyeliner brush and some brown um, eyeshadow and creating the dots where it looks like I was sewn in just making sure they're even. So you can place as many as you want. Um, I'm taking the red lip liner as well and connecting these dots so it looks like my mouth has been sewn shut and we're just going to be doing the same technique for the color wise and dipping into that raw sienna and the other um, brick red eyeshadow to make it seem more realistic once again so you're just going to be watching me do that for a while <laughs> Now I'm going to grab this NYX white liquid liner, but you can also use a cream white, you know, liner, a gel liner, a pencil, anything that you desire. And we're just going to go over the red marks just so it looks like my mouth has been sewn shut with some like white, I guess, string. The red underneath makes it look like it's completely irritated, but now I'm just going to be grabbing some brown shadow just to create... <laughs> A shadow and make it look more 3d instead of completely flat but I'm bearing bearing I'm being very careful to place it not so much all over my mouth so it does not look like a muddy mess then I'm gonna go over it again just without any additional product and just blend it and not make it look completely white after this I'm just gonna be grabbing more of that brown shadow and I wanted the doll to look a little bit more dirty and not so clean cut so I'm making it look like I was you know sitting out on a shelf for a long time now I'm just making it seem like I'm completely messy but now for the lines on my chest I'm doing basically the exact same thing I did with my mouth so go ahead and mark it however you want um, I just decided to do these lines because of the photo and I thought it looked really really cool like that and I realize and I know that the heart should be lower on my chest but my tank top didn't go so far and my ribs are still bruised so I have no way of wearing like a tube top or anything in that matter because it would be too tight amongst my ribs so if you can you can place the heart a little bit lower to where your actual heart is I just wanted something that was appealing to the eye for the camera but yeah, like I said. So like I said, I'm just doing the exact same thing I did on my mouth.
To fill in the heart, I'm just taking that Fire Engine Red Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics and I'm just filling in the heart and then eventually I will get that face brush that I use to blend out the concealer just to create some highlight and to mix the colors up just a little bit. Um, if you mess up, just clean it with your finger and I'm pretty sure it'll look fine. After that, I'm just going to be grabbing some black eyeshadow and outlining the heart um, and smoking it out a little bit so it looks... I don't know, it gives it a little bit more character and it's not just clean cut. I cannot find the footage where I made the little needles, but all I did was grab some silver eyeshadow and make a circle as well as just a line and then grabbed a little bit of brown just to shadow it a little bit more so it makes it look a little bit more 3D and then I go in with the white eyeliner to create like a shininess so it gives it more dimension and it's not completely flat of a needle. And that about does it. I hope you guys like my first ever Halloween tutorial. And if you guys decide to recreate it, go ahead and tag me on my social media. And hit that like button if you like what you see. Comment, share, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!